They are. They're reading. They're in the corner reading. Okay. Is there a Colby Orca in here? Would you like to stick around and hear the story? Or when I was little, I knew he was going out to fight bad guys. I grew up on flight lines, watching my dad take off in his plane and watching him come home. Being a military kid, you grow up a lot quicker than other kids because you're constantly moving, but also you constantly have a parent or parents deploying multiple times throughout your life. You struggle with them. My parent is doing something amazing. They're fighting for our country. They're fighting for our freedom. But then also, like, hey, I miss my dad. My father was a pilot. My mother's a pilot. My sister's a pilot. And so kind of grew up on an airport and wanted to fly for my country. And the Air Force was a perfect choice. My wife, Terry, served for 28 years. So there were times when I was stationed in Korea where I would actually be the single dad at home and I was trying to work and support the kids while mom was deployed. I grew up watching both my parents doing something bigger than themselves and sacrificing for the greater good and just serving our country so selflessly and I knew that I wanted to be a part of that growing up. I wanted to serve my country. I have moved 17 times and gone to 10 different schools. You get very familiar with being the new kid. It teaches you to be very outgoing. You just become a lot more open to new experiences. She's oftentimes been that new kid with no friends. What I'm most proud of is she stayed resilient through a lot of those things and she retained her self-confidence. So she will go out of her way to be inclusive to those that may look like there's no one's talking to them or being their friends. I definitely did a bunch of sports growing up, me and my siblings all did, and I think that was one of the things that really helped us was every time we moved, we were immediately onto these new sports teams, which is hard, like leaving your old teammates and your old friends, but it also immediately brings you into a new family. She is an amazing athlete, and she is really good at a lot of things a three-time All-American in the sport of modern pentathlon, and she's been a state medalist in swimming and track and field and soccer. As I was getting recruited for my different sports, I kind of stumbled into seeing a bunch of things popping up about rowing. The more I researched it and the more I found out about the teamwork that it involves, the power, but also the endurance, kind of the grace and the beauty of being on the water as well, the more I just kind of fell in love with the sport. And then I was getting recruited by Michigan State, looked at the campus, I thought the campus was gorgeous, and then I met my teammates and I just absolutely fell in love with the family that I found here at MSU. I've never rowed before college. The first couple days you start on ERGs, which are the indoor rowing machines, which are what we use to teach you the basic mechanics of the stroke, but then also what we use to like increase fitness when we can't go out on the water if it's a bad weather day. I remember my first day being on the water, thinking that it was so exciting because I was from Florida and I had missed being on the water. You spend your first couple of weeks like struggling, trying to figure out how to move together, but then the first time you race and you get up to high rates together and you're sending that boat, you feel like you're flying. There's nothing like it. There's something about sports and about the cooperation and the teamwork that's required, not only for everyone to come together to achieve a common goal, but specifically in rowing where we are literally all in the same boat. <laughs> you literally cannot stop. I think there's something really beautiful about eight girls, nine including our coxswain, just coming together to move that boat across the water as fast as you can. Forward. Harch. Calm half left. Harch. Want to make a safety movement on the grass. Forward. Harch. The goal is to be an emergency physician in the Air Force looking for avenues to get into the Air Force. ROTC was what I landed on. ROTC is divided into class and lab. Leadership lab is basically the practical application of learning about the military. So we learn about marching. We do things called GLPs, which is guided leadership practice. We had to practice what to do if we found a UXO or an IED. 
there's kind of nothing like it. I was just surrounded by these people who want to serve their country and want to do what I do. And I was completely welcomed with open arms. Not only do I have the family that I found with rowing, but then I also have everyone I have in my detachment. I knew that Colby really felt strongly about serving her country, and I knew she wanted to find a way to do it. It is incredibly hard to balance the requirements of a D1 athletic team with school and then with ROTC. I just know she is an incredibly hardworking kid. If those boats here, make sure that you're actually only feathering with the inside hand. Rowing and ROTC translate really well back and forth. The more I do both, the more I've learned that they're weirdly similar. In rowing, it's eight girls listening to a coxswain. And when you're in a boat, moving your boat, and you're listening to your coxswain give you directions, it's very similar to marching and listening to a flight commander give you directions. And then sitting in a boat, we call it keeping your head in the boat or keeping your mind in the boat. You're supposed to stay locked onto the girl in front of you and just only be focused on the stroke that you're taking and the girls in your boat and nothing else. Having your mind in the boat is very similar to being in military bearing and keeping yourself focused. The teamwork, the cooperation, the hard work, the grit. Things that I've learned as a rower have made me a better cadet and things that I've learned in ROTC have made me a better athlete. I'm very thankful for all the opportunities I've been given here at MSU. The family I found with rowing and then the family I found with ROTC, I could have never imagined it just working out as well as it did and having these two amazing support systems behind me. I really appreciate everything that everyone's done for me, especially my family. I wouldn't be who I am without them. They've just constantly been supporting me and helping me throughout my life. She can do anything she puts her mind to doing. She's all about taking care of people. She'll be doing something like that where she's giving back because that's just kind of who she is. She's my hero. She's just got a tremendous positive outlook on life and she's fearless. I see Colby literally achieving whatever she puts her mind to. She's just a cool kid. It's fun to just see her as a young adult and watch her take off and take flight. The best thing we can do with our lives is help others. Try to make the world a better place, not only for ourselves, but for each other. Reaching out a hand and just treating other people with kindness and respect. And that's what I want my career to be, is just serving our country and fighting for what this country stands for, for freedom, for equality. As my papa would say, the best thing you can do with your life is to make your little corner of the world better. And as you get older, your corner of the world gets bigger and you can help more and more people.